Big Tobacco has taken another addictive product, wrapped it in shiny packaging, added sweet flavours to create a new generation of nicotine addicts. There will be no more flavours or bright, colourful vape pens. And if you're looking for one, you'll need a doctor's prescription. The move is aimed at stopping an alarming rise in teens who are vaping. It's an issue here in this country too. Christine Birak now with what health experts say Canada should be doing about it. It's something no parent wants to see or hear from their child. I know that it like affects my lungs a lot and like I can feel the shortness of my breath. Canada has one of the highest teen vaping rates in the world. So I was like 13 I think. And I, I got addicted really fast. The latest survey results showed 13% of teens reported vaping in the previous month. In adults over 25, it's 4%. Public health experts say Health Canada needs to act. We have companies that continue to bring out products that are far more popular among a 15-year-old kid than a 50-year-old smoker. The vape industry is now offering smaller disposable devices loaded with up to 10,000 puffs of potentially harmful chemicals and nicotine, a drug that alters brain development in kids and can cause cognitive and behavioral problems. And it's all wrapped up in flavors like bubble gang sour apple berry and magic cotton grape ice. Kids are getting their hands on these products and some of them are much more appealing to kids than they are for adults. And I think one of the questions is, what's the industry's role here? Health Canada put forward draft regulations in 2021, restricting flavours to protect young persons. The agency hasn't moved forward, telling CBC it's assessing the feedback from 25,000 comments. But one vaping organisation alone credits itself with sending 24,000 postcards. The vape industry insists its products are meant for adult smokers, but cancer groups point out no vape device has ever been submitted or approved as a stop smoking aid in Canada. Some provinces and territories have moved to ban most flavours, but Health Canada could do a blanket ban across the country. We have this widespread nicotine addiction onset among youth that's totally avoidable. It simply should not be happening. A brand new generation hooked on an old drug that's already destroyed countless lives. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.